Well, now you start uh, rock and roll again after a uh, break, uh, nearly two and a half years. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel to start rock and roll again? Well, for the past two and a half years, to tell you the truth, one of those years I was making the record, so I really wasn't, I didn't really have that much of a break, because mm -hmm. I, I was making the record for a whole year. Um, but it feels great to be singing live again, and mm -hmm. to be, you know, on stage. I, I'm loving it. Well, what uh, do you want to express through this album? Uh, I guess I just want to express that there are many sides of my singing, that it's mm -hmm. not just one mm -hmm. kind, and that... Uh, I guess I sort of wanted to, I needed to express a lot of emotion on this one, so just a lot of feelings, mm -hmm. I guess. Well, uh, what do you consider important when you uh, make your record? So I guess the most important thing is, um, like I turn all the lights out, you know, and I sing in the dark so I'm not distracted, mm -hmm. and I just try to kind of go inside, uh -huh. so I try to pull it out, pull it out. Mm -hmm. How did you feel when you uh, gave birth to Ruby? It hurt. <laughs> I felt bad, right? <laughs> uh, I felt um, very strange. Mm -hmm. I felt strange for a whole year after I had her. I didn't feel like myself at all. Mm -hmm. And now I feel much more, I feel more my, like myself than I ever have. But uh, it was strange. Do you have children? No. Mm -hmm. no. It's strange. Mm -hmm. But probably every day you can find new things. From a baby, from a movie. Mm -hmm. She says a new word every day, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just, um, it's just sort of like having a pal. It's mm -hmm. like my little pal now. She's yeah. my friend and she's with me. And mm -hmm. uh, She sings all the time. Mm -hmm. She's really into singing and she's not shy at all. She really mm -hmm. likes people. It's, uh, it's funny, I believe like, you know, that I was just sort of the vessel for how she got here, you know. She's mm -hmm. just this little person who I'm like, it's my job to take care of her for a little mm -hmm. while. Mm -hmm. It's 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 interesting. Well, your next single is A Downton Train. That's a Tom Waits number. Mm -hmm. Have you ever met him? I have met him a couple of times, mm -hmm. yeah. And I met his wife. Mm -hmm. I had a long talk with her. I don't really know him at all. And I don't know if he would ever even remember. Because I met him before I was you know, mm -hmm. known at all. Oh, I was young and... You know, as a matter of fact, my friend was playing with Ricky Lee Jones at the time. So we went up to the hotel room and he was there with Ricky Lee Jones. Like there were a bunch of people there. And he sang and played guitar. And he sang in a totally different voice than you ever hear. He had this beautiful, clear, soulful voice, like very clear. And he sang a song called Brown Eyed Woman. And it was really, I was very much impressed. And I was a fan of his from then on. And it was really nice for me to, um, I don't know, I just said downtown dream and I, I really felt like mm -hmm. um, identification with it, so I yeah. just decided to do it. And I did hear that he likes my version of it. I was happy to hear that. Very nice version. Thank you.